What is going on guys, welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn about the easiest and quickest way to create and launch an Ubuntu virtual machine on Linux. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to learn about a very simple and easy way to set up an Ubuntu virtual machine on Linux today. And this is something that can be very useful if you have to test some application or some concept where you want to experiment around with something that involves another server or another computer that you have to connect to. For example, you might want to play around with SSH keys or something like that. And if you want to do that, you have multiple options. So you can use a second device, for example, another laptop, a Raspberry Pi or something like that. Uh, you can rent a server, of course, you can set up a virtual machine and something like VirtualBox, which is a little bit more comprehensive, or you can do what we're going to learn about in this video today. You can use a tool called MultiPass, which is um, from Canonical. So these are the people that actually develop Ubuntu. And this is a tool that allows you to boot up a virtual machine of Ubuntu with a single command. And this is very, very useful if you just want to play around with something, if you want to connect to a server, you want to check something on a, on a separate server here uh, in a vir virtual machine. All you have to do basically is you have to open up your terminal and you have to use snap to install multipass. So sudo snap install multipass like this. And in my case, this is already going to be installed. And then all you have to do to actually boot up your virtual machine is you have to say multipass launch and then you can specify a name for the virtual machine. So dash dash name, let's call it tutorial like this. And what this is going to do the first time you run it is going to download the Ubuntu image. So the first time you run this, this will take more time because it has to download um, Ubuntu itself. But once you have it, it's going to reuse the downloaded image. And then it's just going to start a uh, virtual machine with Ubuntu. And it's really, really simple. You can see it's starting and it's not going to take um, a lot of time. And then I can easy, easily connect to that machine uh, with the command multipass shell. So first of all, we can say multipass list to see what kind of uh, virtual machines we have and their state and their IP address and so on. Um, so here, for example, it says tutorial is running. So all I have to do is I have to say multipass shell and then tutorial. And this will connect me to this virtual machine. So now I'm no longer on my system, I'm in the virtual machine. Um, and I can also see that this is an Ubuntu machine. And I can also install stuff like sudo apt install neo fetch install this and now I'm operating on this uh, virtual machine and I can do all sorts of stuff I can connect to it from uh, from my uh, original machine, I can interact with it, I can connect to it also via SSH keys if I set them up. So I can do something like SSH at and then the IP of the uh, virtual machine. In my case, now this is not going to work because I don't have any keys set up. Um, but we can run a neo fetch command here, you can see it's Ubuntu, you can see that uh, it does recognize some of the hardware, but it also recognizes that it's uh, a virtual machine. And that's basically all you have to do to run this. So I can exit this now. I can also stop it. I can say multi pass stop and then tutorial. And this is going to stop the machine. I can also start it again. Uh, and then I can again connect using the shell command. I can also delete and recover machines. So all I have to do for that is let's start this first. Uh, all I have to do for that is run the delete command, then it's marked as deleted. So if I say multi pass, delete tutorial, it's going to delete the tutorial, we can see that that's the case by running multi pass list, it's having this deleted state, I can also recover. So I can say um, multi pass recover tutorial. But I can also if I want to delete it for good, I can say multi pass uh, perch, but this will remove all the deleted machines. So if you have multiple of those, you're going to uh, delete all of them. So if you have multiple machines with the state deleted, you're not going to delete just one of them, you're going to purge all of them. Uh, but that's actually what I wanted to show you here. This is the simplest way you can run a virtual machine on Linux. And as I said, this can be very useful if you want to play around with some application or some concept you want to see, okay, how can I connect to a Linux server using SSH, I will probably make a video about this in a, uh, in a couple of days here on this channel. But you can play around with concepts like these, you can learn about Linux with this virtual machine on Linux, just a single command multi pass launch dash dash name and then some name. And that's the easiest way you can do that.
So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.